Hello and welcome to this video module on basic troubleshooting for Zoom. These basic troubleshooting tips are designed to help prevent you from having to wait for a member of the IT department to come and help get your class up and running and gives you a little more power as the teacher to keep things running smoothly. All right, so our first tip is going to be in regards to audio. Now, sometimes what happens with Zoom is if you are changing, adding new microphones, taking away microphones, it might default to something else. So if you went, if you just click join computer audio, thinking everything was auto set up and it would select it, but then all of a sudden you're receiving reports that nobody can hear you. Well, first and foremost, make sure that you are not muted. You can tell the mute by the little line running through the microphone. And you do have options on how you control that as well. You can use the hot key of Alt A to mute and unmute yourself, which is very easy. And you'll receive a notification that pops up letting you know that you are muted. When you are in the mute function, you can hold space so it will unmute you as long as you are holding space, which is a fantastic use if you are in meetings. That way you can always default to having your microphone muted. And then when you want to speak, you are holding the space instead of having to scroll over, clicking uh, unmute and then mute and all sorts of stuff like that. It's a lot more seamless that way and you don't get the look of, uh, oh, oh, okay, let me get that. There we go. So let's avoid doing that. Next, let's also check what happens if something gets defaulted or changed when you set up Zoom. So as you notice, I click that little carrot up button and you can see that I have options to toggle between microphones as it is right now. So I could toggle between, and this is good to know, if you are ever just using your laptop, laptop without an external microphone, it will always be titled Microphone Array. Uh, if you're like me and using a more uh, high-end setup for recording, mine is part of a USB audio codec. Or if you're going straight through your uh, external webcam, you should find the external webcam as it is listed, and then you can change and click on it to select it that way. If, for instance, you're running into an issue where you aren't able to hear what anybody is saying, make sure that your speaker system is set up correctly. Uh, currently, mine is set to the internal speakers uh, in my uh, display, but make sure if you're running off of just a laptop that it is defaulting to that, or if you're using a pair of headphones or wireless headphones that it is sending that way. You can also connect a pair of Apple AirPods or other Bluetooth uh, wireless Bluetooth speaker slash microphone slash headsets, whatever you want to call them. You can hook those up to your computer system as well and then use those as your default microphone and speaker system. You can always go back to test your speakerphone uh, or speaker and audio setup like that to confirm that you have heard it as well as also confirming where your microphone is picking things up. In this case, my microphone is defaulting now to USB color camera and say I want that audio codec, I would just select that and go that way. You can then monitor what is hearing as well. And although not professionally recommended, it is a lot easier just to do the tap check if you're unsure if the microphone is working, which is you lean in, find the microphone, and tap it until it works. That is just something that you can use as a quick way to test it. You can also go into your audio settings as well. For those bigger problems that you might have, make sure that the volumes are selected correctly. And if you are using the microphone, if it is auto adjusting to something that's too quiet, then you can change that as well, as well as doing the test microphone, test all of that stuff. Uh, next, let's talk about video issues. Now, sometimes you might have a problem where your camera isn't connecting, especially if you're using an external webcam. If that's the case, what I would recommend doing is you unplug the webcam, and if the webcam is unplugged, it should default to a screen like this. And then when you plug it back in, it will eventually fit. If it doesn't, again, you can go into your settings and you can choose what cameras are being used. You can also look at your cameras as well by going into the carrot there and then video settings, and then also selecting the cameras you would like from here, as well as making sure those settings that we've discussed in previous videos are set up as you would like them as well. Next, you might run into problems with the waiting room. 
This is very common. It's actually not a problem if you were to click admit onto somebody and then for whatever reason, maybe they don't join. You'll have to have that person rejoin the meeting and you'll have to click readmit for them. And it's usually just an error on their side with uh, probably their internet connection most likely. Or sometimes it is a problem in Zoom itself where it's not transferring them from the waiting room correctly. Potentially they've been sitting in the waiting room too long, they walked away, they're reading them as no longer a participant, whatever happens that way. So if that happens, just have them readmit. Uh, the other thing that you'll want to be making sure of for your students who are Zooming, if they are having audio issues, to go through the audio setup process and just making sure that works. Again, to do that and just to easily explain it to them, tell them by the microphone to click the up carrot and then do the test speaker and microphones to make sure everything is working that way. Those are some basic Zoom troubleshooting tips. Please try those before immediately contacting anyone from administration or IT to help support you. Uh, just doing that is going to save everyone time, save your kids time, save you time, save the IT department time. Uh, it helps all around. It's also important to note that make sure that if you are having issues with audio on your end, that your volume is up. All right. Well, if you have any questions, please feel free to contact your administrator or myself if you're watching this for training purposes at CCLS. Or if you're watching this on YouTube, please feel free to leave your questions in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.